This video shows how to plot a bar graph from Pandas data frame. Pandas data frame is a two-dimensional labeled data structure. Here I have created a Pandas data frame. So let me print that. This is the data frame object which I created. So this is a line which create data frame pd dot data frame then I have passed a dictionary. So let me print the data frame object. So this is a data frame which I created. You can see three columns age, name and salary and one additional column this column represent index. So then I am going to plot a bar graph from this data frame object. For that we can do like this data frame object dot plot dot bar. So I am using uh, Jupyter notebook. So I need to execute this line to get output of plot in uh, Jupyter notebook. Okay, then let me plot that graph again. See, here you can see the bar graph. Bar graph which I created from this data frame object. So if you want to change the size of this graph, you can change the size like this. Just import pie plot from matplotlib, then pie plot dot rc params figure dot fix size is equal to here you can specify the size. So let me execute these lines. Okay, then create that graph again. See, now you can see the size of the graph has changed. If you want to change the style, you can change it like this. Just import matplotlib, then do matplotlib.style.use ggplot. Let me execute that line. Then create that graph, recreate the graph. See, now style has changed. If you want to see all the available styles, you can print the available styles like this pyplot.style.available. So these are the available styles. So this way we can create a bar graph from Pandas data frame. When you create a bar graph, you can also mention the uh, columns which we want to use. Right now it's created this graph from all the columns, age and salary. Suppose you want to use only salary, you can specify that like this. Let me create. See now it uses only salary column to create this graph. So if you want to specify x and y, you can specify that here you can specify use uh, salary age in x axis and use salary in salary column in y axis see now you can see age here in x direction and in y direction you can see the salary 